Hi, Scorpio. Hi, gang, gang. It's me. It's Julia with Scorpio Squad, a Strictly Scorpio chat. For those of you that are new, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here and you're allowing me to read for you. If you like my style, if you like what I'm about, then go ahead and subscribe and hit your notification bell to all, so that way you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Make sure you guys to hit that like if you enjoyed the video, so that way other Scorpios can be aware of the channel and they can get their messages, right? Right. Today is October the 4th. Wishing you a wonderful week up ahead. And uh, just wanted to tell you, if you want a live tarot card reading, there are toll-free numbers for the USA, UK, Canada, and India. Mention my name, Julia, to get your reading discounted. And make sure to take advantage of your $10 off birthday reading, Scorpio, when the time comes. Just mention your birth date or your zodiac sign, and you can get that um, gift from me. All right. Also, you may want to join me over on Patreon. Uh, we did do a live last night. It was amazing. We were on there for hours, talking, laughing, discussing everything under the moon. Um, we prayed as well. Um, and uh, I got to actually see my subscribers and speak to them, which was beautiful. So if you want to partake in that, there is a membership for VIP chat. Also, bonus readings for Scorpio and for Virgo. And pick a card which is a weekly uh, reading where you get early access to that as well. Okay, and uh, VIP chat happens on sat, uh, Sunday. So all the information that you need is linked down below, including where to leave a donation and where to get your official Scorpio Squad merchandise from teespring.com. Okay, I've got four decks in front of me. I'm going to use the, um, uh, what is this called? Island Time Wellness first. Let's see what messages want to come out really quickly. For Scorpio, for Scorpio, for October the 4th, I call upon the Divine, I call upon the White Light, I call upon the Holy Spirit. Okay, Scorpio, never fails, right? Cards are flying. <laughs> Card down. Alright, here I am. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Paradise. Paradise. Is there somewhere you're thinking about going? Here. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. So I feel, Scorpio, this is um, somebody new who's coming to your life or maybe returning to your life. Maybe you're actually taking a trip together. But you're very happy. And there's a lot of flirtatious energy going on between the two of you. And you're really enjoying each other's company. Um even speaking to one another so it's it's really a beautiful card something beautiful is happening here um breakup separation stop the pattern silent treatment abandonment x so there may be somebody that you are in separation with okay um somebody's not talking to you somebody may have left you out in the cold and you're still waiting for them to reach out so, um, I feel for a lot of you, you need to let this go for others of you. Um, you may be just in separation because of distance and you're not speaking right now. I feel there needs to be a conversation here to clear up these energies, okay? Either way. Boat, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. So a lot of you have somebody coming to see you, I feel. You are getting what you what you need, okay? It is coming to you. Things are progressing very quickly. And I've seen that in your Moonology cards when we've done them yesterday. Um, somebody is arriving, okay? Others of you are just moving on and um, closing that chapter of your life and starting a brand new chapter, okay? Photographs. Somebody's looking at your photographs. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, making you memories. Somebody is really missing you here, Scorpio. And I feel they're going to be reaching out to you really soon. Okay. I feel they feel that they missed out on an opportunity with you here. Um, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. I feel that's more your person doing that. You know? looking at all the messages that the conversations that you've had they're just replaying them in their head they're looking at your pictures too and they're really missing you they know they messed up Scorpio. they just know 
All right, let's see what the Moonology cards want to say for today. For Scorpio. For Scorpio, please. For Scorpio. For Scorpio, please. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. It's time to take action. Decide what you want and move in that direction. Because if you keep changing the plan, you're confusing the divine and it can't help you, right? So, it's time for you to take action. Get things done. Put things in order. If you know which direction you want to go into, right, at this point in time. We've got your dreams and need a practical plan. So, I mean, you know, a lot of things. The impossible is possible. But try to stick to a practical plan, right? And stick with it, like I was saying, right? To make things happen. I feel a lot of it has to do with your finances, too. But your finances will get better, too, to be able to take you where you want to go. Emotions are running high. Not only yours, but the person that you're thinking about. I feel you're marrying one another. That's what Spirit's saying. For Scorpio, they feel exactly the way you do. You're very close to achieving your goal. You are, whether you know it or not. But you're going to need to step out of your comfort zone. There may be something that's holding you back. Um, you may be afraid to take that leap of faith. The Spirit's saying, no, you know, don't be afraid, right? You can you can handle whatever's going to come your way in order to make things happen here. Okay, let's get the next deck and let's see what the other messages are for Scorpio for today. For Scorpio, ooh, twin flames wanted to come out. For Scorpio, please. For Scorpio. Okay. So there is somebody really thankful that you have come into their life. It's a twin flame of yours. Okay? They're really being triggered because they really see you as the one that they want to marry and spend the rest of their life with. I don't think they... And if they're married to somebody else, they know they made the wrong decision. Card down, Scorpio. <laughs> Time for Julia's daily workout. Yes, they see a future with you. Not with anybody else, with you. What other messages for Scorpio? What other messages for Scorpio? I call upon my angels, the divine, the Holy Spirit. For today, October the 4th, what does Scorpio need to know? Here we go. What does Scorpio need to know? You're marrying each other. You could be dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo. Somebody's manifesting you, Scorpio. Look at that. <laughs> I said it and it came out. <laughs> you bring this person a lot of inner peace. But somebody knows they need to separate from a karmic, okay, in order to go towards their passion, their love, what they truly, truly want. For Scorpio, what other messages for Scorpio? Okay, some of you are planning on taking a trip here. Ready to bark off, um, bark out on a new adventure. And divine is behind you on this. They agree. They agree. And I feel it's my divine feminines that want this. Mm -hmm. I feel you're trying to figure out as much information as possible before you decide to travel. Or maybe there's just things that you need to get into place so that you can travel, Scorpio. Okay, there's a lot of healing going on as you're closing out one chapter and starting a new chapter in your life. You just need to be a little bit more patient, okay? Think things through clearly. Make a choice, okay? But I feel your choice is going to be based upon spirituality and happiness and passion, Scorpio. That's what's going to determine what choice you make. 
What are you the most passionate about? What makes you the happiest? Not just what's going to fill a void. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. For Scorpio. Okay. So a friendship needs to get back into alignment again. Okay? Because I feel maybe the two of you haven't been talking. I feel it's a friendship that was supposed to become something much more. And it didn't. And now it's time for that to happen. Someone's going to speak up really soon. It looks like it's the Emperor. Or the Emperor is going to receive a message. You need to trust that this person is going to reach out. I feel, Scorpio, your, your guidance is, if you're a female, hold off. Your Emperor is going to reach out to you. Trust in that. For Scorpio. Okay, someone's holding back some information, maybe some secrets here from you, Scorpio, or maybe this is you. Okay, I feel it's you because the transform card is here. Okay, you need to put your heart back into balance again. You need to heal whatever you need to heal in order to receive your person back again. Okay, I feel like it's an air sign Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody who you're very passionate about. I do see a new beginning. I do see abundance. Wow. I do see the 1111 card. So again, it, it's reinstating. It's a soulmate, twin flame connection. And you two do have a brand new beginning here. Things are evolving behind the scenes without you even knowing about it. Okay. Somebody is going to honestly discuss their feelings with their empress here. Maybe you need to be honest with yourself, Scorpio, about who you truly love. Without holding any resentment, without holding any anger, what would make you the most happy, right? Here we go. You have a reunion coming here. And I feel somebody's doing a lot of planning to make some grand reunion between the two of you, okay? Your advice right now is to take really good care of yourself. Um, listen to your intuition when it comes to your destiny. Um, you're going to get some kind of inspiration through your dreams or your divine masculine is. All right. Yeah. They're going to get the download about how much they really love you here. There is some nervousness here, and they are trying to control their emotions, Scorpio. But... They're, they're, they're going to talk to you. And uh, some of them, by the way, if they're married, they're, they're being triggered to leave their marriage and come towards you. Okay, we're going to get the Animal Spirit Oracle cards now. Okay, for your guidance for today. For Scorpio, dear angels. I love you, Scorpio. For Scorpio. Give us your clarity and your guidance, please, for the sign of Scorpio for October the fourth. What does Scorpio need to know? Never fails. <laughs> All right, Scorpio, you've got three cards on the floor. I'm going. Card down. <laughs> All right, here we go, sweethearts. <laughs> All right, so where do we got? Dear Spirit, bring a gentle touch. So I feel that if your person reaches out to you, hear what they have to say. Don't be so queen of the swords kind of, king of the swords kind of. Be gentle. Hear what they have to say. And you can say whatever you want to say, Scorpio, but just say it in a gentle way. Lion spirit. Yes, be generous of spirit. Try to understand where the other person's coming from as well. Okay. And uh, it's very important right now to have patience. To give love, unconditional love too, for a lot of you, right? Like you always do. Healing to others when they need it. Flamingo spirit, embrace the in between. I feel you are in the in between. You're going through a transition right now. I feel like you're shedding the 
the past and you're moving into your brand new future, which is beautiful. And I feel you're being inspired because for a lot of you, you have a new love in your life who you, who's motivating you to be abundant and feel good about yourself and actually wanting a, a commitment. Bat spirit, a rebirth is assured, you see? <laughs> you are, you're reinventing yourself. There you are. <laughs> you are. It's okay. And you're loving on you. And there's nothing wrong with that. Okay? You're changing. And the things that you want, the way that you think, how you feel about yourself, you're really focusing on yourself as well, which is really good and really important for your growth and for your happiness. Yeah? Grasshopper spirit, take a leap of faith. Step into the unknown, Scorpio. I know a lot of you are saying, oh, but I like it the way it is. I don't want any changes. <laughs> changes needed. That's why you're going through this transition. Okay? So take a leap of faith. If you feel like you, you're being pulled in that direction, whether it's in your career or your business or your love life or whatever it is. If you're being inspired and makes you happy and it makes you feel good, then go for it. Right? And I'm feeling that that's a definite yes because your next card is Sandpiper Spirit. Be playful. And you are. You're really enjoying yourself. You're laughing. You're having a good time with somebody. There's a lot of flirtatious energy between you and another. So it's really beautiful. So just be happy, be in the here and now, have fun, yeah, and enjoy your life and love those that are around you, Scorpio. All right, that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you again tomorrow. Love and kisses, Scorpio, my psychic mafia. I love you. <laughs> Bye.